Hey everybody and welcome to day 30 of our 30 days of self-care. Woo! We made it. Yes, I know that was a little extra, but I don't care. That's me. Um, so congratulations guys we made it to day 30 of our 30 days of self-care and i'm super excited about that i'm super happy about that um so today as our final self-care event task idea however you want to look at it i'm going to look at it as an event because that just makes it feel bigger to me um we will be building a fort and uh having a movie night so i am going to Whew, I just put dinner in the oven so I'm going to be like cleaning up because I want to clean up the area so that I can make the fort because um, I'm actually going to be like sitting on the floor and stuff like that. I haven't made a fort since I was a little kid so this will be new because I've never done it in this space or with the materials that I have so let's get to cleaning so we can get to building. Um, but. In the meantime, I'm Shakoya D. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend. Hit the notification bell so you never miss an upload. Um, and yeah, I, as you can tell, I'm super excited that we made it to day 30. Like, we made it all the way here. So, we gotta finish strong. So, this is gonna be great. And yeah, let's get to cleaning. First things first, we have to clean. So, I wanna make sure that whatever area that I'm in, wherever I'm setting up my fort, I want it to be clean because since we have hardwood floors, I don't sit on the floor too often. Um, and I just got this brush from Amazon. It is specifically for picking up dog hair. So, I'm actually brushing the rug and this is, it's been working a lot better than I expected. We been trying to find a solution to getting all this dog hair up and I'm so glad that I found this brush because as you can see it's doing what needs to be done because I want even though I'm not sitting directly on the floor I want the floor to be clean don't we all so that's where I started and also it was kind of fun using this brush this was my first time using it and I think how much hair it got up whether it be human hair or dog hair it just was very satisfying for me it even picked up a little bit of dust i'm just saying so i started off with that and i actually did this it took me about 10 to 15 minutes to do the entire rug of course we don't have a super huge rug but you know it's big enough so i just took my time going through making sure i didn't pull up all the fabric and then once i got the uh i got through the entire rug i decided to roll the rug up so that I could sweep underneath the rug and around it to pick up the excess uh, hair and also just clean up the floor. So we're just gonna clean up the whole area. This was just like the perfect opportunity for me to just go ahead and uh, to sweep underneath the rug to be perfectly honest because um, like I said, I want my wherever my fort is built, I would like it to be clean. So. <laughs> Um, just sweeping up any dog hair dust those things because also I have allergies and those things actually affect my allergies really bad who wants to be in the fort watching their movie and sneezing not me so this had to be step one I don't know about y'all but this needed to be step one for me Once I finished that, I went ahead and I actually started to vacuum the rug. I'm not gonna lie, we had this on like the lowest cutting, I guess maybe the highest cutting setting. Not cutting, it's not cutting anything. This is not a lawnmower. The, the vacuum setting is set for the one just above like doing a bare floor. So it's sticking, it's sticking to the rug to try to get up as much as possible. So I had to keep turning it on and off so that I can move it um, because as it was uh, vacuuming the rug it was actually moving the rug with it and because you know my knee is a little hurt as you can see I couldn't hold on to the rug while I went ahead and vacuumed and then we moved on to the couch so just getting everything prepped we had to clear the area and then I brought in our table that we have but then remember I need to set up on the floor so I grabbed some super super duper old blankets to be as like the first layer 
we don't typically use these specific blankets so i was like this could be at the bottom um, and that'll be like my added cushion and i thought you know i was like you know what i'm gonna be fancy i'm gonna put these cushions under here because then we're gonna be elevated and it's gonna be nice you know it's gonna be nice and it's gonna be comfy it's gonna be fluffy and i was like oh this is this could work give me a little pillow a little blanket and i'm set i'm set then i grabbed one of our big blankets and i just literally pulled it over the entire couch and over the table and then i tested it out i got up under there because how was i supposed to know if this was going to work or not and i could not see so i adjusted the blanket um, so that if I'm under there, I will actually be able to see. But also, I realize it, it ain't no headroom under here. I'm how I'm supposed to be comfortable if I can't even I can't even sit sit up straight. I can't even get under there for real. So I decided to use the couch cushions as like back support instead of um, I guess bed support. I don't know. That doesn't make sense. But um, that's what I did. So I did that and then I grabbed another blanket to just kind of add some extra cushion. So that way I had a little bit more room. I could lean a little bit. And it gave me a good angle for the TV. So I just adjust it. And voila. This is the final result. This is my first adult fort. So this is a start. And I was supposed to be making popcorn. As you can see, I tried to get Damani under here. He was not feeling it. So it wound up just being me under here. And I enjoyed my alone time. He watched the movie from the couch and I watched the movie from my fort. It was amazing. Um, it was relaxing. Um, and I would definitely do this again. Make sure you guys build yourself a fort maybe one that's bigger than one i have next time i'll have a bigger table next time i do this maybe anyways i also ended my night with my yay list as usual you guys know this whole time i have been doing my yay list which is a list of the things that made me say yay throughout the day i still love my yay list so make sure y'all are doing the yay list um it is still at this final result it is my favorite exercise of the entire 30-day self-care checklist and i actually love the entire checklist but the yay list I, i'm gonna be doing that for a long long time so we have officially completed day 30 of our 30 days of self-care challenge and Congratulations to all of us. Like we got a, you know, big shout out for everybody who made it this far. Everybody who's still working through it, who is keeping up. Those who have just started, congratulations as well. We're just celebrating ourselves because this is a huge deal to show up for yourself for 30 days in a row. Take care of yourself for 30 days in a row. Even if it was just for five minutes, even if it was just for five minutes, it still matters. If you haven't already, please make sure that you download the checklist below. It is a 30 day self care checklist. Um, it is a free checklist. So make sure you download that. But also don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. Hit the notification bell so you never miss the upload. I appreciate each and every one of you. And in the meantime, I hope that all of you are taking care of yourselves. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.